Hey everybody, and welcome back to This Week in Rogue Company, the show where we give you a bite-sized look at all of the notable happenings, both announced and sometimes unannounced, that are on their way to Rogue Company. Recently, we had another installment of our update show, which outlined in depth everything coming at you in the hot Rogue Summer Update. But if you missed that show, I'm here to catch you up. Let's dive in. It's the El Clasico, and perhaps the only thing that could follow the smash hit of King of the Hill. A single round, first to 50 eliminations, it's Team Deathmatch. And the coolest thing about the new TDM limited time mode is the buy when dead feature. Since there's only a single round, you won't have the chance to go back to the dropship and spend your money. Instead, while you're respawning, all players can open up the shop and spend accrued cash. Your purchases will be available for use upon respawning. Please leave us your thoughts on the Buy When Dead feature, as it may be something we use more of in the future if you all enjoy it. Plenty of amazing summer-themed cosmetics are available in the Hot Rogue Summer Update, from characters to gun wraps to emotes, wingsuits, and beyond. There is a skin to strut your stuff in all categories. Some ARs and SMGs will be seeing some balance tweaks. We go into the why for these changes very in-depth on our update show. The what for these changes are as follows. Harm 30k in Sahara will be seeing hip fire accuracy reductions. The Mark IV will be seeing a ranged reduction. The D40C, LMPX, and 24S will all be seeing an aim over shoulder accuracy increase, with the LMPX and D40C also seeing slight range increases as well. The nerf to thrown melee weapons has largely been a successful change that the community has responded well to. This nerf also included a thrown speed reduction in addition to the damage nerf. We really don't think the speed of the projectiles was part of the problem, nor do we want the player base to have to relearn all of these new speeds, so we will be reverting the thrown speed nerf on thrown melee weapons while keeping the damage nerf at 75. That does it for this week's episode of Twerk Guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Remember, we are on the bi-weekly schedule now, so no show next Friday, and I will see you all the following Friday with another episode. Thanks so much. I'll see you next time.